Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to find the last logon date of user accounts in Active Directory. Tracking the last logon date is crucial for managing user activity and maintaining the security of your environment. Before we dive into the steps, make sure you have the appropriate privileges to query the Active Directory database. Let's get started. So in the first method, I'm going to use Active Directory Users and Computers MMC Snappin. I have already logged into my domain controller, but you can perform these steps on your workstation if you have remote server administration tools, RSAT tools installed on that workstation. Back on my domain controller, I'm going to click on Start and expand Windows Administrative Tools and open up Active Directory Users and Computers. You can also type in dsa.msc to open up Active Directory Users and Computers. I'm going to expand my domain, tastybiryani.local. So to view the last logon timestamp attribute, first you need to enable the advanced features by clicking on View and click on Advanced Features. I'm going to locate the user account for whom I want to check the last logon date. So it's in the OU called EU and then Users. And I'm going to right click on one of these users, Kathy Shah, and click on properties and click on attribute editor. Scroll down and you can see last logon timestamp. So this attribute indicates the user's last logon date and time, including the time zone. Now with this method, you can only see the last logon timestamp for a single user. But if you would like to view this attribute for all users in a much better way, you need to use PowerShell. So I'm going to cancel this and close Active Directory Users and Computers MMC Snappin. And I'm going to open up PowerShell by right-clicking on Start and click on Windows PowerShell Admin. So in PowerShell, if you want to find the last logon date of a specific user, you want to use get hyphen ad user commandlet with the parameter identity and the username, which in this case, Kathy.sha and the property which I want to query which is last logon date. And then I'm going to select object, expand property, last logon date. So I'm going to press enter. Now this command will list the last logon date property of the specified user, which in this case is Kathy.sha. So what if you want to find the last logon date of all users? So again, I'm going to use the same command. This time I'm going to remove the identity and filter for all users by specifying asterisk. And I'm going to select the object name, comma, last logon date. So I'm going to press enter. All right, you can see it displays the name of the account as well as the last logon date of all users. So if you want to save the results to a CSV file for further analysis, you can use the export hyphen CSV commandlet. So again, I'm going to use the same command. And at the end of the command, I'm going to continue with the command export CSV, C drive last logon date dot CSV minus no type information, press enter. And now if I go to C drive, you can see the CSV file here, last logon date. And if I open it, it will list all the users with their name and last logon date properties. And that's it. By regularly monitoring the last logon dates, you can easily identify inactive accounts and ensure the security of your Active Directory environment. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more informative content. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.